Hi there, Sava here from Football Heritage TV. Uh, having just watched uh, Tottenham Hotspur in a disgraceful performance at Everton, I'm joined by Shivani, who is a season ticket holder. Um, and also on holiday in Cape Verde. So, uh, Shivani, uh, give me a sentence to sum up Tottenham Hotspur tonight away at Everton. Um, I don't need a sentence, just abysmal. Just one word, that's it. Just one word. Abysmal. So, are we, are we putting this on the manager? Are we putting this on the players? We're we putting it on both. The fact that we went down, to, sorry, that they went down to 10 men and the manager kept three centre backs on, even though they didn't have a, a strike to start with, and we just sat back and camped in our own half. Well, I think the fact that we just sat to our manager, appointed his second in charge, uh, who's clearly playing the same tactics, same team, it's down to the players at this point and the way that they've played. There's just absolutely no explaining how or why. But then the substitutions as well, so I think it's on both. Were, were you surprised though, when we went when they went down to ten men, were you surprised that Sanchez was the sub coming on for Longley rather than going to a back four and, and putting another forward on and trying to kill off the game? Did that surprise you? Or is not surprised, but did you think we might try something different? We should have tried something different, yeah. I don't really understand why. Again, it's the second time we've seen Sanchez come on for someone when he shouldn't. Um, but yeah, I just don't really understand why we're trying to sit back and defend a 1 0 lead when we know that we're going to concede all the way. Um, was Stellini literally carrying out Conte to the letter? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Should, should he have gone with Conte? Yeah, if you're going to sack Conte. What's the point in having his, you know, his second man, who's obviously taken certain tactics from him? Uh, there's no point. But and I'm not saying I wasn't 100% Conte in. I wasn't 100% Conte out either. I think the issue lies with the players. Yes, some of the tactics. But if you're going to make a change, make a change. Right. Yeah. So rather than make the change to the guy that that has kind of been the proxy for Conte, exactly. make the change to someone who wants to play a different style of football. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If you're gonna, if you if you want to make a change that badly that you're going to sack a manager, then make a full change. Yeah. So was that? I mean, of course, we dropped points to a very poor Everton team that didn't even have a striker tonight. But that could have seen us go third, and now instead we're fourth, but. Both Man United and Newcastle have two games in hand on us, and Brighton have three games in hand on us. Are we going to get fourth? Do you even care at this point about fourth? No, I actually don't care. Like, I'm past the point of caring because if we get fourth, it will make Daniel Levy and some of some certain fans think, OK, we're still in a decent position. Of course I'd love to come forth just so we're in the Champions League, but it's like people keep saying, what's the point of being in the Champions League if we're just going to keep getting knocked out at a pretty early stage? Yeah. Because we're just not good enough. Yeah. We haven't got a squad big, big enough to keep competing in so many different competitions. I mean, look up, look up what Arsenal have done with you know, not being in the Champions League for years, and, and they're probably going to win the league. And it makes me sick to say that, but they probably are. I'd much rather be in their position right now than ours. So, let me ask you then. So, by the time we play our next game, would you like to see a new manager installed? Or would you be comfortable with Mason and Stellini for the rest of the season? I just, I, I honestly, at this point, I actually don't think it will make a difference either way. Really? I don't think it will make a difference. And how angry were you during that game? <laughs> how many times did you swear during that game? I don't swear. How many times did you ask someone to throw a glass at your head because you weren't happy with the result? <laughs> <laughs> look, uh, people, look, I'm going to wrap the video up there, but listen, um, this is what it does to you, being a Tottenham fan. You have to laugh about it, right? You Rang can't even relax on holiday. You can't, That's can't how bad it is. even relax on holiday. That is how bad it is. Anyway, um, Shivani, are we going to get top four this season? There you go, you heard it first and foremost from season to get hold up. I also predicted it was going to be 1-1 one, one today, so I'm always right, so... Yes, you, <laughs> you did. Um, just quickly, best player today for Spurs? For anyone? Nobody. Worst Kane. player? Oh, oh, Longley, probably. Yeah, I I, I'm going to go with Longley, Sonny and Skip. I thought they yeah, were all absolutely was dreadful. Yeah. Anyway... Uh, please like, please subscribe, and hopefully you appreciate some video coming to you with some tannage. Hope you're all well. <laughs> See you soon.
and Spurs, absolute disgrace. Yeah.